Uh, and do we have Chris the full timer over in our uh, secluded studio? We've actually secluded Chris into another studio. Are you there, Chris? I'm uh, here. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, you're there. Uh, we've, we've, we've got you actually out back in our secret studio behind the uh, building so that you do not see any of the bachelorettes today on the show. We're going to have the ladies come in. We're going to ask them some questions about Chris the full timer. And uh, he's going to pick one of these lovely, lovely ladies to take out to the beast room this evening. I love it. I love it. Oh, there you you're in the. <laughs> Well, and, and, and beautiful bachelorettes as well. It's our very first flavor of the full timer competition in the studio with me. Uh, Jason and Chris, Jason Barker today, and Chris Eubanks from the Husky Stash, my investigator reporting. How are you guys doing this morning, Tony? We're doing swell, Tony. Thanks so much. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. 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 Does not a good describe it, Tony. All right. And Chris, the full timer, are you there by our remote studio? <laughs> <laughs> What was that again there, Chris? Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds just like the real thing. Huh? All right, all right, yeah. All right, guys, uh, well, I'm going to turn it over to you. Let's uh, meet our beautiful bachelorettes. Thank you so much, Tony. Right now, we're going to go ahead and uh, talk about bachelorette number one. She enjoys kinds, all kinds of music from classical to the funkiest music she can find. Not a lot of time for hobbies, but she'll have plenty of time for Chris the full-timer. Bachelorette number one, say hello to Chris. Hi, Chris. Who's our, uh, yes, next bachelorette, bachelorette number two. Yeah, bachelorette number two likes college basketball, going to the gym, hanging out at the car wash. Uh, she watches Grey's Anatomy, Earl in the yeah. office, and she also likes hanging out with family and friends. Bachelorette number two, say hi to Chris. Hi, Chris. All right, all right. You hearing this, Chris? All right. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, last but not least, bachelorette number three loves watching ice hockey, long walks along the beach, and is a small business owner and entrepreneur. Bachelorette number three, say hi to Chris the full-timer. Hi, Chris. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. All right he all right. is going to have a tough, tough decision this morning, too. <laughs> all right. Absolutely. Okay, are we ready for round one of the uh, Flavor of the Full-Time Competition, guys? Uh, whenever you're ready, our, our beautiful bachelorettes are here in the studio. Uh, bachelorette one, two, and three. Uh, you, you guys take it away here. Let's do round one. Okay. Thanks so much, Tony. Let's get right to it. Bachelorette number one. Chris the Full-Timer is quite a snazzy dresser. With his CSI type shirts, tell us will you wear, what will you wear to the bistro tonight that will perfectly complement Chris's vintage Bart Simpson Eat My Shorts t shirt? Ooh. I believe I'm going to Amy Winehouse at tonight. Ooh. I'm going to do the 60s beehive in the Egyptian makeup. Ooh, very nice. Hey, now. Whoa. Hey. Nice. <laughs> yes. Very good answer. Very, very good answer there. All right, and uh, Bachelorette number two. Besides uh, WBKO's AM Kentucky, Heroes is Chris's uh, favorite TV show. If you could have uh, any superpower, what would it be? And would your costume involve spandex? <laughs> superpower, okay. I'd say, yeah, definitely yeah, X-ray vision. Ooh, Ooh X-ray vision. vision. Very nice. I'm in the locker room when she's around. <laughs> I like it. All right, all right. There you go. X-ray vision, Chris. You hearing all this over there, okay? Yeah, boy. <laughs> all right, all right. That never gets old. <laughs> yeah, never does. All right, all right. I'm sorry. Go ahead there, guys. Finally, last but not least, Bachelorette number three, finishing out the round one. Chris the full timer rubs elbows with some of the hottest B list celebrities in Hollywood. Guys, did someone say Bush Patrick TV's uh, television's Eddie Munster? <laughs> uh, what famous celebrity do you look like, or who would you love to look like? Ooh. Definitely Jessica Bill, head to toe. Oh, and the reason is. Oh, cover up guard. <laughs> oh, there you go. That may counter. That may counter against her in the uh, bonus round. Ooh. There, all right. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. 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 All right. Oh. 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 Well, bachelorette number one, uh, it is a well-known fact that uh, Chris the, uh, the part-timer, or full-timer, sorry, sorry there. Uh, Chris, the, Chris the full-timer is uh, terrified of uh, most animals. Uh, after a horrific trip to the zoo, how would you comfort him? Well, since I'm a heart nurse, I guess I could find plenty of ways to get his heart rate back down. Whoa! Whoa! Hello! Oh, no. Hey now, Chris! Yeah! <laughs> awesome! All right, all right, there you go. Bachelorette number two, if Chris is traveling in the Sam Xterra machine going 65 miles an hour to Franklin, with a wind out of the southwest at 20 miles an hour, southwest, yes. Yeah, factoring, uh, factoring the drag ratio in the capital of Nevada, what would a perfect date for you be? Usually the perfect date for me involves a keg and a petting zoo, but since the petting zoo's out, I guess I might 
Uh, probably make him dinner and then maybe go to a ball game of some sort. Ooh, Ooh can't go wrong with that. Wow! Yeah! Alright, we're going to be a home run this evening. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, finally. Bachelor, yes. uh, bachelorette number three. Uh, Willie Shakespeare once said that music was the food of love. Uh, I wonder how many calories it'll serve you Fleetwood back. Huh? <laughs> yeah. So uh, tell us, uh, Bachelorette number, uh, Bachelorette number three, what's your favorite food, and uh, would you eat it off of Chris's uh, chiseled six pack? Six pack of, uh, of Chris the full timer, yes. I'm definitely gonna have to say Starbucks because then it would roll down those areas. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, Wonderful answer there. All right, there you go. Well, that concludes round two of the uh, Flavor of the Full Time Competition. All right, uh, it's that time, folks. It's that time. It's time to pick a winner of the very first Flavor of the Full Time it's, Contest. He's, he, he has heard from the Bachelorettes. They have given their answers, and uh, now it is time for him to uh, think about that and, uh, yep, and tell to, us who he's going to pick. To go with a winner here. Okay, Chris, this is a big decision. This is dinner at the Bistro tonight. Uh, the beautiful beast right side on Russell Road, I believe. Is that is that correct? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, all right. And uh, it's, a, it's a great moment in radio history right now. Uh, are we ready for him to announce the winner? I, I, I can't take it anymore. I have to know. All right, Chris the Full-Timer, who is our very first winner of the Flavor of the Full-Time Contest? Who, which Bachelorette? Bachelorette Do we 1. Get a drum roll on this? Bachelorette 2. <laughs> we got a snare drum back there. Don't want to play uh, Our Bachelorette number 3, who is going to be going on a date tonight to the beautiful Bistro uh, and uh, have uh, other millions of dollars in prizes as well and fame from this? Yes. <laughs> oh, you, you're, you're killing me. You're killing me. Number two. Number two! Yeah! Into the studio, he's and, actually uh, coming into the studio. Yes, to, he's uh, actually going to come in and award the uh, <laughs> lovely young lady, bachelor number two, with the uh, with the clock. He's I taking it, this. taking it off his neck, and he is going oh, to uh, walk over to her. And <laughs> <laughs> you all right there, Chris? Oh yeah. Your stuff stuck on your head there a little bit. I apologize for that. Should have should have gotten it better. <laughs> <laughs> This is a proud moment in radio history right now at 7 o'clock. Mark your calendars at 7 o'clock in the morning. All right, let's talk to Bachelorette number two. Bachelorette number two, you can come over to the uh, microphone here. Let's get your name, Bachelorette number two. Uh, what, what's, what's your name? What's your name? My name is Jenny. Jenny. Uh, well, uh, I know this is a proud moment for you and your family. Oh, yeah. Uh, now, you are uh, from uh, Bowling Green here, I guess, right? I'm from Bowling Green. Are you excited on going on a date tonight with our very own Chris the Full-Timer? This yes. has got to be a proud moment for you. Oh, me. it is. Yes, I know now. my whole family is proud of me. <laughs> Uh, contestant one, contestant two, uh, contestant three. Uh, we have some great parting gifts for you. What do they got? What do we got for them uh, there, Jason? Uh, absolutely, Tony. Uh, that's right, ladies. No one walks away a loser. We have some nice parting gifts. You'll you'll get a heart shaped touch light. That's right, touch light. Your number one supplier in touch light. <laughs> touch light, love it. You'll also receive Deep Cove smoked sardines. But when it's from the deep in the cove, you'll know it's from Deep Cove. I love it. Everybody gets and a twenty percent off coupon to Zappos. They've got shoes at Zappos. Any kind of shoes. That you're looking for. There Absolutely. You go. Well, that concludes our very first flavor of the full time. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight uh, to the beautiful Bistro, a uh, great restaurant here in town uh, with uh, with Jenny and uh, and of course it's going to be a fabulous evening. And Monday you guys are going to come back on the show and tell us all about it. And we that. will be there to uh, document the love fest that is sure to ensue. There you oh, go. Yeah. Check out the pictures online, BowlingGreenSam.com. Now everybody in the studio, let's do the Macarena. <laughs> <It's Friday. laughs>